It would come into your area at different times and it would operate so many days as whites and then they would shut it down and take away some of the good activities and stuff. And then they'd open it back up and it would become the color fair. But Mega says a 10 year old kid doesn't tell anyone he goes to the white fair. He said they lynch him and put him on a fence and they leave him there until his body began to deteriorate, take him down and bury him. He said, but they leave his clothes right there. He said, and both black and white passed that kid and nobody talked about it because it really was a warning to both races. This is what can happen to you when you step out of line. Well, Mega wants to get away from that. So at the tender age of 16, he goes into World War II. And he talked about traveling, defending America. He said, it didn't seem to matter too much about the color of my skin. He said, sure, we were segregated. There were a few problems, but nothing like at home. And then he gets out of service and he comes home and he tries, tries to register on his 21st birthday because back then you had to be 21 to vote. And he said, these men run us off with shotguns. He said, we went home and got ours. We came back, he said, the number had tripled. He said, and an old white lady stepped out of her truck and told, came, walked over to us and said, son, it ain't worth you losing your life over this. One day, you'll be able to vote. And so Megan said, but I began to think, and I got serious, and he gets into Alcorn College at that time, now Alcorn University, of mm -hmm. course, majoring in business administration. But he does a lot of stuff down there. He's a smart kid. He starts some business ventures and just a lot of stuff. But one of the most important things we think he did, he organized the first debate team at Alcorn. And he was the first black to debate at Millsaps College, then an all-white college here in Jackson. He debated uh, quite a bit there. Well, when he finished college, he, of course, he had met his Merle when she was a freshman. He was a junior. But when he finished, they got married, and they moved to a little all-black town up in the Mississippi Delta, Mount Bayou, Mississippi.